Now then you too, I'm the Tough Man, and welcome back to some more Heavens of Sorcery. It is part number 23 today, guys, and uh, after last episode, which was an absolute mess, hopefully today will be a little bit better. Starting off with something that is in my inventory. Yes, we finally have a Dark Crystal, guys. We finally have a Dark Crystal. Um, right, full disclosure, with you guys, I had to go into creative mode to fly around the uh, the Everdon. Uh, that's where I, I did most of the searching in there. Uh, to me, I mean, I went through uh, literal hours of walking around and this was what I managed to find. That literally three different types of crystal. <laughs> that was it. And one of them wasn't dark crystal. So if you're very lucky, uh, you'll be able to come across a dark crystal pretty easily and pretty early. Um, however, I wasn't. So I then went into uh, into creative mode and just flew around. I thought if I'm going to find anything, I'm just after this. I want to see if it exists. Number one, it's a good way of testing. Uh, see if it exists in the uh, in the loot tables, and it does. It's right there, guys. We managed to find one. Uh, full disclosure, though, anything that I uh, went to, uh, any chest that I went to, I literally looked at it. If this wasn't there. I didn't pick anything else up. I didn't cheat in that way, shape or form. I literally just saved a lot of time by flying around the place, trying to find it. Maybe I possibly think that this should be uh, edited slightly, where the recipe to make this dark crystal should possibly use any sort of crystal, rather than a, um, you know, the Vise crystals, for instance, rather than the Peditio ones, because you just don't know what you're going to get. Chance. And again, you just don't know what you're going to get is the chance whether or not you're going to get a dark crystal out of those uh, out of those chests and stuff. I'm not a fan of that. I think that uh, you definitely should have some way of being able to make this. I get the exploration side of things, but it really bogs you down when you cannot find. When you're an unlucky person like myself, um, this is why I don't like luck-based things. <laughs> because I'm just so unlucky when it comes to finding stuff. So, yeah, dark crystal. We've found one. Let's continue on with the episode. I, actually, before I do, uh, something you can see. We've got a crystal seed in, in here. Now, apparently this has been uh, edited. This is something that got edited in the most recent version uh, for, for lead. One of the things to try and get lead uh, is this thing, um, which is apparently a lead crystal seed. I don't know how this works, guys. I've never used um, the embers alchemy before. I'll have to have a look into it. I know these iron aspectors, you can sort of like, uh, you can tell them to be a certain value. And if you get that value right, um, then you, th this is successful. So, something like that. <laughs> I don't know. But this lid crystal seed, the fact that it says seed, uh, means that we could probably, maybe, possibly plant this and grow this uh, into something. I don't know. Oh, also, uh, in between episodes, I went and, look, uh, and had a look back on my last episodes because I wanted to find what was in my shulker box. And I found what was in my shulker box. The only thing I haven't put in my shulker box uh, is the um, is the spells, those little um, you know the, the the bits that you put on top of the wand. This thing, um, I kept, obviously I don't think you can just go ahead and do that. You have to re redo them. But you know it, it, was, it was my own fault. It was my own mess. Uh, but we have somewhat sorted it out. It's just these enchantments that we've lost, which pays for the fact of the durability, I think, and um, you know uh, the durability in, on this, which pays for the fact that we've lost our spells. Basically, we'll have to redo our spells. I need a bottled ghost, so what better place to come than the Misty World? If they come down, that is. Where are you? Did I get it? No, I just got bottled substance. Are you joking? Hey, I needed you. <laughs> Whoops. I got three more bottled substances rather than actually bottling the, uh, the ghost, and literally it was right in front of me there. Um, and I just got three more of these <laughs> and then I ended up killing them. So I feel pretty bad about myself Maybe um, maybe it might be easier getting it in the nether Possibly because I'm just bottling this air. I think rather than trying to get the ghost itself Okay, bottle and cork in the nether or the between lands to collect that could possibly be why Well the look best shenanigans continued as it took me god knows how long to find this guy Oh, we can get more than one from him. So that's not too bad, actually. Let's just grab absolutely loads because uh, 
My goodness, he was such a pain in the backside to find. I presumed it was going to be around um, Soul Sand that we would find it. So we've got loads of bottled ghosts now, which is good. Uh, and we've got another one of those soul beads, actually. So I've definitely killed these guys before. Um, it's just, of course, it's always the case. When I want one, we can't find one. It's one thing that we definitely need more of, again, is bone meal. But that's easily remedied. We can we can get that pretty easily. I don't need to cheat that in. Um, okay, so we have everything set up over here for the, uh, for the ritual. Um, also, I, I mean, I have been thinking in between episodes about how to go about getting um, mana. Before before this, before the uh, the sorrow, how else am I going to get mana? Well, the Kekimura uh, is apparently a good way of doing this. We need pixie dust though, which means we need to do this. Um, uh, but the Kekimura is apparently a really good way of, uh, of making uh, mana. And to make cakes, apparently it's a lot easier in this pack. I haven't had a look as of yet, but ah, you can starlight transmutate pumpkins. So if we have something that would uh, simulate the, the, the right click that I was on about, put, putting down pumpkins and making cakes, uh, actually that's not a bad idea. So it might be something that we can do possibly in the overworld, make one of those collector crystals or one of those, you know, the crystal things that was, yeah, I don't know if we can place those crystals. Uh, but maybe that's something that we could possibly do or not. You know, we can always go over to the other place where we've got that and make a load of cakes. So actually, that's not a bad idea. Uh, plus, you can, you've got the Ran and Carpus, and this is the uh, usual uh, thing that I do. The Ran and Carpus, which looks at uh, looks at blocks and basically says, right, we need to place this block on this block um, if there is not that on top of that block, basically. And this thing will pick it up and then place it on that block. So... Really, really useful, obviously, for when it comes around to cakes. But let's make this. Nice. Oh, been waiting for this for ages. This is going to be the munch stew that we so desperately need, guys. We just need to wait for that. There we go. We should get two of these, which one is going to be used, obviously, for the quest that we need to do to continue on the pack. And one is going to be used for the munch stew, which is going to be used for getting us loads of mana or at least the start of uh, of this mana we need dark crystals uh, and hopefully we can get a better way of getting dark crystals rather than having to go through that entire process again if we have to do that again my goodness gracious me i think i'll pull the rest of my hair out but anyways we've got the token of fear which means uh, we can now make if we pop back to where is it where's there it is um we've got the token of fear that goes in here with the rest of it. Fantastic. The other one. Oh, we're getting full pretty much everywhere, guys. We'll sort that out soon, I promise. Um, so, we have the rune stone, I believe. Yes, we do. We have the infused rock. Yes, we do. We have uh, our token of fear, our infused horizonite, and our cloud berries, and our wild war logs, actually. We've got everything. We have everything available to us to be able to make... Um, the offering table, which is a celestial altar uh, recipe. So I am going to need my uh, shulker box. Let's go over to the uh, starlight crafting area and let's get this crafted. So we are after the offering to uh, this thing. Brilliant. Pop that in there. It needs a bit more. So let's go home, sleep, and uh, and then we should be fine. And indeed, we do have enough to make the offering table now. We need to surround this with flowers, which I don't think we've got at the moment, but some bone meal on the grass uh, won't take too long. So this should be... There we go. Nice. Brilliant. We've got the offering table. Now, let's pop home really quickly and see what else we've got to do for that particular quest. Um, so we need... The offering table... Right, we need a spirit of calling and an ingot of the skies. Uh, we need to set this offering table up first, and I don't think we've got the ability, uh, the size of the place to be able to do it in here. Hopefully we can do it over in the aether, that would be absolutely fantastic. Now, ooh, we do have 16, it uses any flowers, so using some of these flowers might not be a bad idea. Let me just grab a load of these. Uh, do we have, how many does it require? Let's have a look. Um... An offering to any type of flower. It doesn't say. So we've got 3, 6, 9, 12. It seems. Uh, around the, the centre there. And then um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I can't count it. Uh, let's just visualise it. It'll be much easier. Um, I do think we'll need a bit more than we currently have though. 
Oh, I forgot I could do this. <laughs> nice. A good way of getting some more uh, some more roses there. I think... Can we use these... Right, we can make rose red dye, and that's a rose bush. But can we plant that there? This could be interesting, actually. I don't know if we can plant it or not, but we'll soon find out. No, it's not counting as a flower. If you take a look at the top there, this is not counting as a flower. Oh, Never mind. Do these count as flowers? No. Really? It said we can use any flower. Unless it's expecting roses. That could be uh, a good point there. Let's try this anyway. Okay, it only says we've got one. But uh, I'm pretty sure it might class these as flowers. I don't know if it does. Uh, we'll see. We've got loads of purple flowers and white flowers around there if we uh, if it doesn't work. Um, but, okay, let me get rid of the visualize because it really doesn't help me here. Fantastic. And, uh, yeah, you can see it's all, it's all ready and raring to go. So, let's test this out. Let's test this bad boy. So, we need a spirit of calling, apparently, to be able to uh, get one of these things in the first place. Um, ah, that's a fair crafting recipe. Bottled sunlight and some more bottled ghosts. Okay, let me get this stuff together and make one of these. Oh, somebody was saying in the comments as well, guys, and I do apologise. I'm, I'm trying to get as many episodes as done, uh, you know, as I physically possibly can at the moment because of the amount of overtime that's kicking around at work. Um, I haven't had much time uh, to look at some of the comments, but I have looked at the comments of the episodes that has gone out uh, as of this moment in time. And people were saying about these uh, these ancient trees, apparently, they, um, they basically return the aura back to normal. They don't make the aura better, but they turn it back to normal. And interestingly enough, we've got a couple of saplings that have just dropped on the floor there. I, you know, I won't moan about that. That sounds good to me. Um, okay, so we should be able to go ahead and place all of these items in there. Nice. Okay, brilliant. And we can use our knife, because that's apparently what we need to make this craft. Uh, where is my knife? Didn't I, didn't I give myself a knife? I'm pretty sure my knife was in here. Uh, it's not that hard to craft one, actually. Let's just go back and craft another. Right, here we go. New knife. Lovely jubbly. There's the spirit of calling. And the last thing on this list uh, was one of these. So we need three infused horizonites. And, um, yeah, the spirit of calling. Place the required items in the offering table. And drop a spirit of calling nearby. Multiple crafts may be done at the same time, still only needing one spirit of calling. So we could make multiples of these. The only problem is, we've only got two horizonites left. So we'll need to grow and grab some more horizonite. And again, I got extremely lucky there by mining down, and then horizonite was literally just there. But now we've got the uh, the shulker box back. Now we've got our little me creeps. We can go ahead and make another mine here. And the problem that I was having in the last one and not getting it was I was actually digging in the wrong place. When I dug down underneath the crystal biome, I wasn't in the center. So I started going off in a direction that wasn't in the crystal biome anymore. So no wonder I wasn't getting any horizonite. Right, let's, of course, let's uh, get the old, get the old guy out. Here he is, the creep cube. Let's get this up so it doesn't get duped this time. And we'll slap him down. And we'll see if we can get ourselves some more Horizonite. And light the place up as well while we're going this time. Mr. Meat Creep, you have done your job well, my friend, and found us even more Horizonite. Let me have a really quick look on the F7 mode. I think we're putting them in the right place. Fantastic. Yeah, we've got 11 pieces of Horizonite. We've also got three more pieces of Charite there and a load more stuff. So we've got enough to be able to do... I'm going to do a couple of recipes of this, I should think, for the Spirit of Calling and get the most out of it. And I'll see you over there. There's the last piece of infused Horizonite. You can definitely see that the tree is looking a little bit worse for wear. It's, it's certainly losing some of its tinge there. But... Uh, <laughs> We should be okay. <laughs> I mean, we've got a look. We've got some decayed leaves and that lot. We just keep an eye on it. And make sure that we keep planting some new trees as we go in. So let's go ahead. Want to? Oh, put them all in there. That's absolutely fine. I can do that. And we shove that on the floor apparently, and it'll do its business, or it should do. That bloody thing. It doesn't seem to be doing much. Not going to lie. It did say to drop it, didn't it? A multiple cross, uh, a drop, a spirit of calling nearby. I've definitely dropped one. It's right there, look. 
Hmm. Maybe the rose bushes are not doing it. And that's how you make grass, guys. Basically, you put a piece of dirt in the infuser and, uh, and yeah, let it infuse. Right, I've just been bone mealing this area constantly and, uh, and getting plants out of that one. So see if, let's see if normal ones actually work with this one. Where is the uh, where is the thing? It's probably down here somewhere. The nature... Earth and nature altar. There it is. And let's see if these ones actually work. If this one doesn't work, then I'm presuming it probably is an issue with it being in the nether. Uh, the earth, should I say. Uh, if that is the case, then that's fine. We will move it over to the other world. Alright, shall we try this one more time? <laughs> the infused ingots got in. The spirit of calling on the floor. Yes, it actually worked this time. Okay, so it's not any flower at all. It's any Minecraft flower. Any normal fl- Hello? Where did my ingots go? I don't seem to have received my ingots back. Oh, they're over here, look. They spat like 5,000 miles away. Um, oh, we've got some more. Oh, yeah, that's that's probably for the uh, for the uh, f for the quest reward. Right, okay, so we've managed to do that, and we've got a couple of new quests that have been unlocked because of that. Lovely to play. The old switcheroo. It's time, I think it's time, we give the natural altar a bit of an upgrade. Crafting a transmutation catalyst and placing it on one of the short pillars in an altar structure will allow it to perform some simple transmutations. Interesting, okay. So gold leaf, illumination powder, ingot of the skies, infused rock, golden stone bricks and an alchemy catalyst from Britannia, uh, which is pretty easy to craft, along with uh, starlight sapling. Uh, we'll go ahead and make us one of these transmutation catalysts. Okay, so that's not too hard to craft. Da Costa's birthday. While the old ritual table can be used to summon many creatures, there are some more exotic beasts, such as the frogs, we need. They are out of reach. For those, you'll need an altar of birthing structure. Every creature created with this altar will, spirit, uh, will require a spirit of birthing, obtained by breeding animals with a slight excess of aura. Interesting. Okay. Uh, this is an altar of birthing right here. We need hair bales. We need token of euphoria, which is the second stage. I think token of joy is the first one. We need a heartbeat. Uh, I think we've... Uh, oh, no. We won't have that. Rare drop from harvesting bee true. Okay. Uh, a bed. Some amethyst. Really, it's not too hard to do. To activate, simply drop the ingredients on the ground nearby. What ingredients? Oh, the spirit of birthing. We need the spirit of birthings, apparently. Um... Spirit of birth obtained by breeding animals with a slight excess of aura. What? <laughs> oh, I'm not entirely sure where I've got this from, but there is an overgrowth seed. I think we got that from one of the uh, uh, one of the one of the chests that was in the uh, in the Everbright or Everdawn. So that's actually interesting. We could have used that to make grass instead, because if you plant that, literally, it just goes boosh, and then a load of grass appears. So. Yeah, we could have done that. I mean, we've already got grass planted over there now, so it will spread eventually, but uh, we'll just leave that for when and um, when we might need one. The final piece of the puzzle for this one is the turquoise stone. I need to make uh, the infused stone. We may need to plant one of these very, very soon, in fact, because it's looking a little bit worse for wear. Uh, but that's the final one. Let's pop home. Everything else is in the chest available and ready for us. We just need to go over to yonder place, plant this thing, and, uh, and yeah. Oh, we need the golden powder, hang on. One thing I will say to you guys, if you're ever going to craft your gold powder, don't use the grindstone. Don't keep using the grindstone to do it. Come over here and use your gem cutters. You will always get two, and, um, yeah, it's just a much better way of, uh, of doing it, rather than just sometimes you get in the one. And here we go. We're getting the alchemy catalyst thing for the uh, for the nature's altar. I don't know what this will do. Who knows? It's going to transmute some stuff, apparently. And uh, the grass is spreading quite nice. Look at this. 81, 82 pieces of raw radiance, uh, radiant quartz there. That is extremely, extremely useful, guys. Even just the one set up there. Uh, and we're starting to get quite a lot of this. So it's taking the items. It's going to take the tree very soon. Uh, we will have to go and get some more saplings. That was my last sapling of this starlit, uh, the starlit one. So we're going to have to go and get some more of that. 
relatively shortly. Come on. There we go. Fantastic. And we get the transmutation catalyst, the old switcheroo. Let's have a look uh, to see if that's actually unlocks anything else. It hasn't, but that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I think uh, we'll pop over. It said to do this. Where is it? The old switcheroo. So, um, on the short pillars of the altar structure. Okay. The short pillars. These things? Is this what it's wanting to do? It's gone. Look, there's no green thing. Can we put it there? No. Okay. <laughs> the short pillars of the... Ne Maybe it's this one? Maybe we take one of them off. And put the transmutation catalyst on there. I mean, it doesn't seem to be doing anything. To be honest. I presume, obviously, it's still gold tinged there. So I'm presuming it would do something. Um, maybe the uses of this will show me what to do. It said on the short pillars. So maybe there? I Honestly, I don't know. Maybe we place it on the top of one of those like that. I, I honestly don't know. I just don't understand that. Will allow it to perform simple transmutations. Who knows? What is a transmutation? I'm presuming this will do something. Let's put one of these on. Oops. Can we not put one of them on there? <laughs> oh my god. I'm uh, presuming it's not working as intended at the moment. I don't know which way around we're meant to do this. Maybe we're meant to put it on the top of, uh, of one of these, for instance, like that. Is that going to work? It's not doing anything, guys. I am confused. Okay, I'm looking at the book here and it says the natural altar can be used for blah blah blah. Uh, this can be achieved by creating the transmutation catalyst and placing it on top of any of the four lower golden stone brick blocks around the altar and then placing the ingredient on the altar as usual. What that will do for us, apparently, um, nether quartz will, I mean we can give this a try, a glass bottle will turn into a water bottle, I think that might be the easiest one to give it a, give it a whirl with. Okay, so, transmutation catalyst in hand, let's see if a glass bottle will change. I can't even put it on. So, if we were to put the transmutation catalyst on any of the bottom ones, as it's told me to. Ah, now it's actually working guys. Oh my goodness, look at the state of that tree. We really are going to have to come over here and plant some more. But this will... There we go. Okay, fantastic. That's working. That's working. We figured out how to do it, guys. Oh, finally. We've got everything we need to be able to make this moon stew now. A token of uh, token of fear. A token of joy. A rune of fire. A rune of winter. That will go ahead and get us that for us. Let's pop that onto there. And then we mix that with a couple of lime, a couple of red, one green, and of course some seeds to set it off. And we've got ourselves one munch dew. And uh, we just need, um, oh, I'll get an ironwood uh, seed actually. And we'll start growing it over here and we'll see if it works properly. And we will get the runes back. I think we do get the runes back from this, which would be absolutely amazing because uh, it took some time to do. Yeah, we got the runes back for that as well. Lovely. So we've got the rune of gluttony. Um, the Rune of Gluttony and all these, and I think it will actually use the Rune of Gluttony at the end there, but, eh, suppose we'll have to deal with it. So, uh, let's put down our, this thing here, uh, our shulker box, whoops, let's not chuck everything all over the place, it'd be nice, and, um, whoops, not that one, that one, please, and here we go, guys, Rune of Gluttony, in, green petal, in, two red ones, in, Two lime ones. Yes. Seed. Yes. <laughs> Lovely. So, uh, the Munch Dew, I don't know what sort of range it's got. I'm hoping... Um, maybe... I'm hoping that we can actually plant it right here. Is it... Can we... Uh, it's already bound to it. You can see there. If we look at that, you can see it's got the... Uh, it's, it's got the, uh, the highlighted box around it there. I'm going to move this. Because I can and I'm going to move all of these. My goodness, I didn't realise this thing actually created uh, crystal flowers as well. That is interesting. So, we want to go ahead and plant this. Right here. And we want to give it some bone meal, guys.
And my lord, it works. I'm just going to give it a... It's actually still growing as well. Like, you can see the leaves coming back. I don't... Mm, has, it, uh, has it got too much on it? It's got loads of mana, guys. Like, actually loads of mana. Has this broken again? That's got loads of mana. That's got loads... Are we full? <gasps> We're actually full of mana! Oh my goodness! <laughs> We're full of mana, guys. That's probably why this one is not doing anything at the moment. Um, I do think it can reach those trees. I hope it can, anyway. We can always use floating ones. We can uh, we can put it with a floating flower, which is a dirt, pasture seed, and uh, a glimmering version of the flower, which is a couple of glowstone on a normal flower. Uh, we could put it onto a floating one and have it a little bit further up so it can get access to all of these, uh, which is probably not a bad idea. However, I think we're all right for the moment. We're full of, uh, of mana, which is absolutely fantastic. That means in the next episode, guys, we can come back and do this sort of stuff because we'll have enough mana there, hopefully, to be able to spread into two mana pools. Uh, you can see, place two mana pools nearby with nature pylons on top. We might have to do some trickery uh, with some uh, with some sparks, making sure that it, you know, it gets into the right places and all that sort of stuff. But for the moment, I think uh, I think we're all right. I've literally just made that munch dew and filled the bloody thing. Nice. <laughs> Guys, that's going to be it for the end of this episode. If you've got any comments or suggestions, please do put them in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. Till then, have been the tough man as always. Stay safe.